Well, it's been forever. Approximately. Wow, I really do talk like Chandler Bing. I don't sound like that. Oh, oh, Chandler. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> Okay, I don't sound like that. That is so not true. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been about Forever. two months. Um, and we're here in the Universal parking garage. Mm -hmm. we, you know um, what that means. We, we didn't come for the first few days at open because one, our sleeping schedule is all messed up. So right now we've already been about 12 <laughs> hours. Um, but we forced ourselves to come for once because we didn't want to go back to bed. Um, we did notice one thing, parking. They're actually social distance in the cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it's like every other row is parked. Yeah, so if you can see right next to us, there's this big gap, and in between every car is a parking space gap, which is kind of funny when you think about it, but yeah. Anyway, there's not that many people here right now. What time is it? It's like four something. It's only just open, so hopefully there's not a huge crowd of people, but I doubt there will be, so. We'll anyway, see what's gonna happen. We'll see you on the flip side. So, I'm not sure if you can hear us very clearly due to our masks, um, but we just went through security. I mean, there wasn't many people, but it was still not amazing. Um, they, they didn't have any, you know, stickers on the ground. They only had one security line open. So on top of that, you have um, team members uh, non-stop wiping down the handrails. So back there, they have somebody literally just stood there with a rag holding it. But yeah, back of the security thing, they only had one line open and there was about 50, 60 people there. And people were starting to crowd because they didn't know where to stand. There was no social distancing stickers and everyone was confused. It's sunny and it's very hot. Look how hot it is. My forehead is glistening. It's really warm. So they keep making announcements saying to stay six feet apart or stay on the floor markers on the floor. There actually aren't many floor markers on the floor. There are some close to the restaurants, like over there, and um, probably inside the stores. But when you're out here in the open space, there's not many floor marks markers for six feet apart, which I guess makes sense because you can judge it yourself. And it's a big open space, so people are going to be walking in different directions. But right now... There's definitely not many people here. There aren't many people. It's really empty. That was really fast. Hold on, let me go slower. <laughs> Ooh. If you can't ride Spider-Man, you couldn't handle that. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do, to be honest. But we'll probably just do a lap or so. The stores behind us... They've all been closing for the last few months. They got some construction walls up over there now. So hopefully they'll be able to make some progress on that, but. There's a crane. We are so close. You're right, there is a crane. Um, I did see the Jurassic construction is still going pretty strong. It's strange there's like it's no really staff no here or anything to like tell people anything, you know? I would have imagined they'd have somebody stood here saying, yeah, we Come love you. you. But um, yeah, there's there's literally nothing over here to go sound right now. That they've taken down the height requirement signs because clearly they are either renovating them or adding them. Did they have the Hagrid's one on those? I don't think so. Yeah, so maybe they're adding Hagrid's and maybe theming them all together. The Emporium, the Chocolate Emporium, is open today. Yes. Yes, it wasn't it open the first day, but it was open the second day. Yes. But um, all of the restaurants have like a podium outside where you can pre-order your food and pick it up. Um, the Emporium is only doing desserts as of yesterday. I don't know about today. So we're outside the Emporium and um, it looks like all the benches as well have uh, social distancing stickers on the middle. So please keep this table empty. It's, it's a... such a beautiful table. Oh, it says table. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, we're even sitting separate, which is nice, I guess. So as some people have pointed out, they've uh, removed some of the concrete over here by the ticket booths and uh, just seem to be repaving it. Nothing too exciting, but to be fair, it doesn't look like it's going to be done anytime soon. There's probably another week or so's worth of work on it, so, um, so yeah, they could always rope it off if they happen not to get it done, if they wanted to open sooner rather than later, but so close so close but so far oops it's so so hot that's what we keep saying it's really hot it's so hot and honestly I, i've never been in a desert but like i feel like i haven't had water in weeks <laughs> which i probably haven't because i haven't been outside so i think my body is just automatically dehydrated from being out in the sun in florida <laughs> yeah yeah but i don't know today the sun is pretty pretty hot on our backs we are wearing black hhn shirts so that's probably our own fault to represent. yes we both were so never mind lesson learned Long jeans. Woo! that was our baby at spider-man all i would get on my break was on jeans. so apparently they closed down this whole strip of stores over here um because they're going to be moving the universal store so it'll be a lot of a, I guess, a bigger space. It won't compare to World of Disney still, but it's something, and I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes, I'm excited. We're going to be airing at 6 p.m. How to Train Your Dragon, the first one, and then the sequel will be at 7:45, and then at 9:30 to 10, we have Shrek. Oh. Another great film. One of the Shrek films. A classic film. So here's where it gets tricky. The so Universal Store. He's counting out front how many people's in the store, and when people leave, he changes it so he knows how many's in the store. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is when you, you still go. You have to be six feet apart, and you, it's impossible to walk around in the store. Yeah, and on top of that, you go to places like Diagon Alley when the parks reopen. It's just not going to happen. The stores are way too small. There's too many people. They, they won't be able to do it. <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm sure that they, they figured it out, but... It's a bad trick. Right now, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, right now you gotta like constantly be conscious of where you're walking, because there's people everywhere. So yeah. E.T. Phone home. So... A couple things already right off the bat that we noticed from walking around and like being in the Universal store especially is that a lot of people are like already pulling down their mask or not wearing it and like Universal guidelines are that you have to wear your mask um, unless you're eating food. So it doesn't matter if you are on the phone, you gotta have your mask on. I guess if you're going for a smoke break, it makes sense, you can take your mask off. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, so just... Keep it on, especially as team members, we're gonna be enforcing that a lot if I know if it ever opens up again. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we don't wanna, you know, have it spread as much as anybody else. So yeah. you should definitely keep your mask on. So yeah, like Victoria said, there's there's probably th there's only a few hundred people here and it's worrying to see that almost every other family there's at least one person taking their mask off, blah blah blah. We saw a family with three people who were wheeling their kids not wearing their masks and the problem is it's like not even just the con the contamination it's also like universal can't be open if people do that like if people yeah. don't wear their masks it's never gonna open yeah because like health guidelines are like that like yeah. you have to wear your mask yeah universal you know? has to abide by certain rules and if we as guests don't follow those rules universal won't open otherwise you don't want to be called out and i'm sure and people have already gotten called out for it. Yeah. We, we see it a lot. Yeah. Like, so just be careful. Um, they're using microphones and going, hey, please make sure you're wearing your mask. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of team members walking around. They're all um, high management, so they're wearing regular clothes, so they do blend in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But there is team members everywhere. Um, so just make sure you're following the rules. On a positive note, one thing we did see that Universal has changed they are currently doing a promotion, as you can see. Uh, you spend $175 mm -hmm. 
and you get a free non-interactive Harry Potter wand, which is kind of interesting that they are bundling in, in some Harry Potter merch, which they normally are able to sell more than easily, but obviously they need to promote some more income. So that's an interesting thing to take advantage of if you're traveling here. And we're back. Look at the state. We were only out for like, not even an hour. It's really hot outside, I'm not gonna lie. It was really rough for me personally. Like, um, it's hard to breathe. I mean. We had the good masks. Yeah, it's really, yeah, we had the ones that are like easier to breathe in, but um, it was really hard. So a couple things that were open today, um, Cinnabon, Bubblegum Shrimp, NBC Grill, Voodoo Donuts, Tucson. Universal, Universal Store, not Universal, Universal Store, uh, Toothsome, Chocolate Emporium. But for desserts only. For only desserts? I think, it, I think it was milkshakes, to be honest. Well, we saw the menu for milkshakes, but maybe they have ice cream too. Yeah. Who knows? Menchie's would have been amazing today because it was so hot. I don't think we've said that yet. Menchie's? No, that it was hot. Oh, no, I don't think we've said it. We've said it probably never, mm -hmm. ever. But yeah, overall, um, there's not a whole lot Universal can do. Um, they've basically done what they can. At the end of the day, they... They're trying really hard, and yeah, you can tell. They can they're... only tell people what they're supposed to do. Yeah, and, and um, like, especially with kids that are really, really young, it's going to be hard to control. I and couldn't. I, I think the big issue is right now is everybody's going to the parks for... Oh, parks to city walk for an hour an hour and a half tops mm -hmm. and people are struggling within the first half an hour to 45 minutes and already taking their masks off i'm not sure how that's going to translate into a full park day where people are there for eight hours mm -hmm. and they're in lines and they're in heat and they're with their kids um i think it's going to be so much worse we were only there half an hour and we wanted to leave so i'm not sure how it's going to translate into a full park i don't know how they're going to enforce people to wear their masks because i don't see children specifically wearing masks for eight hours in the day um which was it, why i don't know it'll be interesting yeah for sure and they're definitely gonna have to limit capacity at the start which is what shanghai did and they seem to be doing fine yeah so i think we can do it i know in shanghai small. uh disney they aren't doing indoor shows yes. they are doing um there's still social distancing in the queues and they have all those queue markers left. We'll probably put a link to a video down below to, to show you the examples of like how they're distancing people in stores and in restaurants and in the ride queues. Mm -hmm. It's like a checkerboard type thing, people moving. Yeah. Uh, but they're doing pretty good there. They're right now limiting in Shanghai who goes into the parks. So it's only people who live in Shanghai, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, citizens and can go citizens in? and but they have to also be pass holders. I think I read. I'm not sure, but it's a very very limited capacity. Anyway, we're gonna go back to uh, social distancing and probably stay indoors for the rest of uh, forever. Yeah. Um, I'll go back to playing Animal Crossing. So if you want to be my yep. friend on Animal Crossing and visit my island, I've worked on it a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm very proud of my four star island. Stay safe. Stay at home if you can. If you want to explore City Walk, stay away from people in there. And keep your masks on. Keep your masks on. Please. 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 And, Add uh, me on Animal Crossing. Bye! Now it's time to pay the price. <laughs> and now it's time to pay the, 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 the And now it's time to pay the price. We love you, Tim and Jen. Mm -hmm. You inspire us on a daily basis. Bye bye.